So we covered a lot of material in the customer segment part of the business model canvas. We talked about the jobs to be done, we talked about pains, we talked about gains, we talked about multi-sided markets, and we closed with market type. Let me give you an example of a couple of startups who actually went and tried to define their customer segments. So here was one um, that the startup was actually trying to understand how to find foreign students at universities. And so they were putting together their archetype. And this was just a definition of meet this student, and here's who they are, and here's their family, and oh, this is their first time in America. And because it was about uh, providing financial services to foreign students, they actually understood something about their credit score, about social security number, U.S. address, whether they were responsible academically and financially, and whether their social network was responsible. Another example of a customer segment was uh, someone making new kiteboarding equipment. Who were their customers? Professional kite surfers. They solely concerned with performance, uh, but they had another segment, average kite surfers. And they had a third, prospective kite surfers. And, <laughs> and though I don't think they were this young, they were actually trying to understand how to segment their market and what their specific performance needs for kite surfs were in each segment. The other thing that we're interested in doing, if you remember in customer segments, is understanding the day in the life of a customer. Now, sometimes this could actually be diagrammed as how do they spend their time? And this happens to be how does a designer spend their time putting together an architectural product? So how much do they spend in phase one and in prototyping and manufacturing and final product? And so this was giving them a view of what it would look like. And so they can now describe to me and others, oh, and our product fits right here, and here's why, et cetera. Here was another example of someone trying to understand the customer problem of couples who happen to be on separate coasts or long distance from each other. And they were trying to understand what the problems were. And so they were able to articulate all the key pieces and, and kind of rank them by priority. And I thought this was a great way to kind of diagram the problem. Here was another example of a team putting together a detailed archetype of a set of customers. They gave their archetype a name, Pat the Professional. Specified who Pat was, upwardly mobile, professional, salary, what they did, how much they spend, what their demographics are, what their traits were, what their motivations were, how many were there, where they worked, where they bought, etc. I thought this was a great example of a professional class consumer uh, who was shopping frequently online. Another example in medical devices, trying to understand two segments, oncologists and pathologists. Here's what they did, here's what they cared about, and more importantly, here's how they paid. Here's how they paid in the hospital, and here's they, how they got reimbursed. Here's another example of a uh, mammography product, how patient care worked uh, inside of a hospital. and how people got reimbursed. So you can find these examples and more on the link below.